Brian White had four hit songs in 1996 alone. He's, he's won a lot of awards. And uh, he's going to be singing here tonight. Yeah, I don't know how Tamara was able to swing it, but she was. Hmm. Oh, I thought you were going to get some champagne. Yeah, I thought so too. Hi, y'all. How y'all doing tonight? Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, we've got Brian White in the house tonight. Hi. And we have Macy and Thorn Forrester in the house. But most of all, we have you all in the house, and I just want to extend a big country welcome to each and every one of you for coming out tonight in support of the Malibu Creek Children's Hospital. So let's just kick up our heels. We've got great food, drink, dancing, and amazing entertainment. So grab yourself some chow, and let's get this show on the road. <laughs> up there on that stage. <laughs> <laughs> that would be entertainment. <laughs> hey, everybody, I want you to meet someone. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Brian White. Oh, well, I see you two already have met. No, I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> As you can see, Mr. White, this is the spokesperson for this oh. table. Mm. Oh, it's <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm oh, Sally. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to see you now. Oh, and you're my daughter, Macy, okay. nice and my son-in-law, Ford Forrester. <laughs> to hearing you. Well, likewise. Well, you're a very bright boy, dear, because when these two go on and warm up the audience, they're not only going to get warm, they are going to sizzle. Oh, oh mother! Boy. Please! <laughs> oh, come on, you know it's true, darling. Listen, Brian, honey, this is a mother talking. Take care of my little girl. She's a little nervous about her voice. You can <laughs> well, I better get this man around the room. We'll see y'all later. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet y'all. Uh, Lovely to meet you. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. You are going to be great, isn't she? Uh, well, it's just that I haven't sung in front of a live audience for a long time. Oh, darling, but you know when you were rehearsing, your voice is as good as ever. You got enough rehearsal, didn't you? Actually, no, I didn't. Remember, I had to do those interviews tonight. How did that turn out, by the way? They went really well, actually. There was one girl who was terrific, but I couldn't hire her because she didn't have a green card. Oh, so you had to tell her no deal, huh? Uh -huh. My soft-hearted husband here felt sorry for her. <laughs> Actually, I did too, but I wasn't about to jeopardize Spectra just to get her a job. You did the right thing. What's going on, Claudia? I have wonderful news. I got a job. <laughs> Did you hear me, Mama? I'm working. <laughs> Where? Who hired you? Oh, a wonderful man. His name is Thorne Forrester. I'm working for his company. What's the matter? Yes, you seem a little disconcerted. There's no point talking about it. Obviously, something's bothering you. It just, it's our big night out, We're getting away from the pressures and the tensions of the office, and they seem to have followed us here. I don't believe this. Look, we're here to have a good time. Get away from the office, away from Grant. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Excuse me, miss. A bottle of your best champagne, your best. Right away, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. They come here representing Forrester Creations and they never even mention it to me. Well, they're not going to write me off that easily. I am the CEO of that company. I should be sitting at that table. Darling, you have just got to relax. I mean, the night is young. And before this night is over, you and me will be sitting at that table, 
but they'll be heading for the door. So why did this Thorn Forster hire you? I asked him for a job, and he gave me a chance. Lucien, I am very fortunate. This is a good job. No, Claudia. They are the lucky ones to have you working for them. They are paying you minimum, see? No. They're paying me more. Hermano, they're treating me fair. Fair? They don't know what fair is in this country. What about Mama? She needs her medicine. And she will get her medicine. I think I will have health benefits at Forrester. Yeah, will you find out? I will. But right now, I have to do something. What? I have to thank this man, Thorne, for what he's done for our family. Don't let them ruin our evening. I told you I'm not going to. Good. Then stop looking over there. You want to provide me with a better distraction, Doc? Gladly. Don't they make such a lovely couple? Smashing. You know what I'd really like to do, Grant? Let me guess. Dance. <laughs> You're so in sync with me, yes. darling. Well, shall we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, there you are at last. We were just about to send a couple of Indian runners to hustle you out of the men's room, honey. Well, I was mingling at the bar. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Anything interesting? Nothing that can hold a candle to anything at this table. Sally, you care to dance? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do live. I'm available. What's the matter, Sally? Lay off the foresters if I were you. I've already been informed that Queen Stephanie is not happy about the way you've been treating Eric. The way I'm treating him? You know, he has been downright rude to me. Boy, I wish he'd be rude to me. He is one stud mother. <laughs> Clark, what is it with you and Eric, huh? He's envious. I represent the future of the fashion industry. He represents the past. No, no, baby, not yet. <laughs> Forrester is still very much the present. Not for long, Sally. Not for long. Uh, one more olive in there. 
Thank you very much. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, it's you, Claire. You know, Darla, that outfit you're wearing, it's driving me crazy. I thought you swore off women. I did. But uh, I don't think of you as a woman, Darla. I think of you as a, an angel. And you want me to be your fallen angel? As long as you're falling in my arms, darling. <laughs> pathetic. Excuse me? I said pathetic. Clinging to a man we both know doesn't love you. Oh, but he loves you right which justifies all of these insidious little tactics. What insidious little tactics? Oh, come on, coming here tonight, playing these games, trying to make Ridge jealous. I don't know, maybe that's some part of a higher standard by your definition. Taylor, I have every right to be here. I'm a majority owner of the company that paid for the table that you're sitting at. Oh, so that's what this is all about. It's about the table that you paid for. Come on, Brooke, don't you see what you're doing to these people? You're playing with their company. You're playing with their lifeblood. How could you expect them to want to have anything to do with you tonight or any other night? And now you're using Grant, a man that you've caused him now to mistrust. When does it stop, Brooke? It stops when Ridge comes back to me. Oh, gosh. Taylor, let me ask you something. Is Ridge enjoying himself tonight? Or did that end when Grant and I walked in? Hmm. I thought so. And you know what that means? That means that Ridge can't stand seeing me with Grant, or any other man for that matter. When are you going to see the writing on the wall? He's never going to marry you. You've got to realize that. All I'm saying is not to expect too much. Macy is very nervous right now. Oh, I'm sure she'll be all right. What do you think, Ridge? Do you think Macy will be okay? I don't know, Dan. How are you doing, honey? Well, well, well. It's the Foresters. How you guys doing? What's with the bottle of tequila, Grant? It's a charity function, not a fraternity party. Did you hear body shots, old man? Fine body, I might add. But what you do is you take a shot of tequila, Wedge of lime, some salt, and you lick it off that pretty lady's neck. Eat your heart out, my friend. So you're going back to Forster Creations to thank this man? No, he will not be there. He's at a charity event for a hospital. Well, does he know that you're coming? No, but I need to thank him. He took a chance by hiring me. I don't have a green card. Lucien, this man, Thorne, is giving us a chance for a new life here. I want to show him how grateful I am for that. Okay. <laughs> Let's get you backstage. Okay. Macy. Thorn. Lock him dead, honey. Hi. 
Hi. Hey. Did I miss something? No. No, nothing. <laughs> well, I am really excited about seeing your brother and Macy sing. Well, it shouldn't be too long. And don't forget there's Brian White. That should be a treat. Sorry, you guys. You'll have to excuse me. Rich, where are you going? Oh, yeah. All right, that's enough. Grant, get rid of the tequila bottle, will you? Logan, what the hell are you trying to prove? Excuse me? I'm here just trying to have a relaxing evening. I don't need this. Need what? You and your bozo friend making all spectacles right, of yourself. All right, now you just crossed the line, Ridge. You really want to see me cross the line, Grant? Oh, yes. stop it, both of you. Ridge, how dare you come over here like this? I have every right to be here, just like you do. But was I invited to sit at the forester table? No. So in another word, Ridigio, Get lost. Ladies and gents, no intro needed. For your pleasure, Thorne and Macy Forrester. Thanks for coming tonight. What do you think? We're gonna have fun tonight?